Good afternoon, good afternoon people in lovely Britain on a not so nice uh, bank holiday Monday. It's not as nice as it has been, it's uh, pretty cold today actually. Um, any other day uh, at the weekend I've managed to have my patio door open and it's uh, it's open but not a lot uh, for the cat to come in. Anyway, this serious thing, it's not that serious, um, just about the sky glass and I've noticed that it's been quite laggy today not as, um it's yeah been quite slow the gen 2 and i think that is because there's a lot more people out there with uh the gen 2 gen 1s and your little um stream puck thingy bobs so i think that uh Skyglass might need to upgrade their servers because I think they're going to have a, a you know if they're, if they're getting loads and loads of new people they're going to need to upgrade their servers so everyone gets a decent quality of service because I think uh, it being a bank holiday a lot of people are watching uh, films and stuff and I know it's going just through the normal sky menus it's just it's quite laggy quite laggy it's definitely a software thing not so much software or connection to their server thing um it definitely did feel like that um i've not had any buffering that's been absolutely fine but scrolling through the menus it's been a bit of a pain and my other half has had a similar situation where hers wouldn't even sort of load up the menu screen this isn't the menu screen is it <laughs> that's the menu screen so it's it's running okay now up and down there's no sort of lag through scrolling the menus like this like there was earlier so what what i recommend you doing is going down here if you're getting a sort of a bit of a lag in it refresh your connection um to the server so system management reset and updates and then restart device do that or unplug it and plug it back in the old way because that is basically what that is. Uh, do that and that just you, you should be doing that sort of every now and again anyway, just to make sure it's all running running right and it's done all its updates that it needs to do in the background that you might not even know about, that hardly any of us know about until we find problems with it. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> so do that and that should sort out most of the problems if there are any, if you're having any sort of slowness when you press your button you shouldn't really get any sort of latency at all but i did notice it this morning and it was really really annoying so uh, i left it on for a little while to see if it was just something that it needed to clear itself but it, it didn't do anything so i just done a reset and uh carried on from there and it's been absolutely fine since um yes i haven't done any videos for a while on the sky glass because i've been doing other things like uh the switch bot stuff which uh i've just got into it's really cool and i've also put some leds around the uh around the sky glass so you're not going to be able to see them very well um <laughs> there we go you can see the green got too much light shining on it you can see the green at the top it is there um they're connected via switch bot they look absolutely fine it's not it, i i don't mind doing this if it's not really really bright leds at the back because when you do that and you've got really bright LEDs, it takes your eyes off the tv and it's just not very nice it doesn't look that nice um i've done it i've done it on my lg tv i had some really super bright um leds um and they were just too much on your eyes yes you could turn them down but then what's the point when well, you you buy expensive leds um and uh yeah, they're too bright. A nice little sort of uh, line around the back of the TV is quite nice. And these are using the power off of the back of the uh, the TV through the USB, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. And I can confirm that that USB port actually turns off because when you turn the TV off, the lights turn off. So there's no power to that USB port, but there is through the um, the other port. Yeah, what's it called? USB-C one. That one seems to stay live all the time. Uh, don't know why. Maybe it's to do with uh, the camera that's plugged in. Let me just turn those off. There we go. So, yeah. Got a cool video coming up tomorrow. Yeah, it's a SwitchBot video. It's a Robot Hoover video. Hopefully tomorrow, if it comes in time. So, yeah, it's a small Hoover. Robot Hoover. 
not a regular size one, which is good for getting into small places and stuff is what I'm thinking. Plus my Maxicom or Maxcom um, robot hoover, his battery's not very good at the moment, unfortunately. So I thought I'd try this out. This is obviously my Maxcom hoover's probably two or three years old, maybe more. Oh, little squirrels in the tree. Um, and uh, this has got to be better. It, <laughs> it just, you know, with technology advancing, it's it's going to be better. And it was a really good price as well. Really shocked how much the SwitchBot stuff is. It's really, really cheap. Unless you go into the high-end de dehumidifier stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But even their more expensive robot cleaners are not that expensive. They're not bad at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. And you know what to do, people. I can't thumbs up. <laughs> I can't do it. There we go.